Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Esan. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the JDK version 8 um, and uh, the Qt 32-bit um, um, CC++ IDE, which uses the main uh, 492 compiler version. So, for this to work, uh, what you so for, in order to install all these things, what you do is you go to the download folder where you have all these things downloaded. In my case, it was in downloads here. Uh, I double click on the JDK file first, <coughs> and it takes some time for this to show up. I always say yes. Uh, um, and we wait. And we wait some more. And at one point it will show up. Usually it takes a little bit of time, or maybe it is just my computer, I'm not exactly sure. Um, so we are waiting, and uh, so basically the idea is quite simple. When this thing shows up, uh, the user interface where you can click on next, next, next. What do you just do when it shows up? You just do next, 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 next till you find the position where installation is complete. So you don't really have to do anything, you just do next, 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 and at the end it will say usually that it is, has been installed properly or successfully, uh, and then you just close it, and then it should be fine. Um, after you're done with that, what you do is basically <coughs> you double click on the Qt project, like, like um, so before I go to the Qt installer, Let's go talk about Java. You wait, you see the screen, you wait for the next sign to appear, you click, and you just do click, click, next, 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 and at one point it will be done. So I already have it installed, so I will not install it again, but just to give you an idea. It's not complicated, just do next, 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 and it will be done. So let's um, move to QG Creator Open Source Installation. What you do is just basically open the file, you wait again, um, and you do next. You don't have to go through this, you skip this process, and then what you do, you just do next, 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 and it will take some time because it's a one gigabyte file, <coughs> but it will be done at one point, so don't worry. Um, so in my case, it's already installed, so when it's installed, what you can do is at one point it will be it will show a screen that it has been done properly you just say finish and it's installed since i have it i'm not going to download it so i quit out of this installation i hope you can install it now with my instructions now after you're done installing this you <coughs> go here uh, to start menu you start writing qt and you see qt creator comes up for my convenience i have created a shortcut of the QT creator here in the taskbar. So I click on the QT creator, it is going to be fired up. So I'm waiting for QT creator to fire up. <coughs> and okay, so QT creator is here. Now let's test if our installation has worked properly. For that what we do is we minimize this QT creator window and we go to this simple project, we right click on this, we use extract here. Uh, this symbol basically is just means that this is a compressed file, so I need to <coughs> uncompress it. And for uncompression, I'm using WinRAR as the software. You can install it if you want, um, or you can use any other uncompressing software that you have in your arsenal. So let's do extract here. So we are waiting, simple project has been extracted, we double click and we see all these things here, all these files here. What I do is I go to Qt Creator, I do open project, and what I do is basically I go to downloads, I click on simple project, I select this one, I do open, and uh, at this point, something like this will show up. You just click configure 
and you usually have to wait a little bit. Um, so you see it is reading the project data and doing some other parsing. Um, and if you put the source code, you'll see that there is a file. This file is not written by has not been written by me. I did not write this file, it was written by nice people at Stanford University. Um, um, so what I do is at this point I go to build, I do build all, and you see the build process is starting, starting, and I wait till it finishes. And uh, so it's finishing almost, almost, almost. Uh, Don't worry about this. I wait a little more. So you see that it has finished one of the two steps. It takes some time for this to run. And now you see the whole thing is built. And when this is done, what I do is I go to build again. I do run. And it does the whole process again, but this time quickly. And see that a smiley face appears. If this face appears, it means that you have properly installed JDK and QT um, in your program works. So I hope you understand this. Um, okay, thank you.